This video supports my new book, which is a bestseller on Amazon, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Hey, I know it's not full yet, but it feels that way to me. We're past Labor Day. Um, things are starting to move. So I'm heading out in the sound. Um, yeah, hey, hey, nice and calm here. Uh, going fine. But when I hit the rips, not so calm. But uh, that's okay. I'll pound my way through that and uh, yeah, get a little wet in the process. Hey, I'm really drenched. It, it's not even all that bad. Um, but I had to go through some rippy stuff in closer and yeah the wind is blowing the right way so i'm wet I have to dry off um all right gonna start trying for sea bass gonna do whatever happens uh bass blues maybe i'll take some underwater video i've got my drone with me so i'm gonna figure out something beautiful day yeah and this is eastern long island sound and uh yeah so i'm gonna start off by jigging these rips and i've been out actually for about an hour i tried for about 40 minutes or so in one spot and it just was small sea bass Look at all the marking on the left-hand side of the screen. Come on, look down. There we go. Um, you know, you can see all that marking near the bottom. I was just drifting maybe 200 feet off my lines. On the right-hand side of the plot, you see all those red lines? Those are previous track lines, not from today. I just got here. Um, that was from a previous trip. And uh, you know what? The, the, the combination of the wind and the current right now, when I went to set that first drift up, it it took me like a cr mostly across those lines as opposed to running down them and it pushed me out of the spot and there was nothing but as soon as I get back on what I consider the right spot here we go oh, right away right away hit. okay And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, what do we got? I think I got a dinner fish here. Target species. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, took me a little time, but yeah, yes, that's what I came out here for. Look at the size of that, huh? The no measure keeper. I should use the net. Ooh, no need to mark it right on my marks. It's a beauty. I did drop a couple others, and it's really the first drift on this spot. Yeah, that's just an ounce and a half bull head jig, olive color. Uh, very key that you use thin braided line. This is a 10 pound test. I'm in about 60 feet of water. Drop to the bottom, tap that bottom, yank it up, snap it up hard, let it fall. Watch the lines, the key. Watch that line. It helps to use bright line, and when you see a little tick in the line on the fall, that's a fish. Now these drift conditions are not ideal. I've got a little bit of breeze against the current. The current's running under the boat. So uh, this jig is scoping out a little bit. So if you, you feel like you're not hitting bottom, just flip that bale or whatever. Let a little line out. Make sure you, you stay near the bottom. That's where everything is. Well, the, the blues, the bass, weak fish, sea bass, the roll right near the bottom. Here we go. Oh, it's like getting hung on the bottom. And I'm going to have company right away here, too. Unbelievable. What? this is a sea bass, then this is going to be a personal best sea bass. And I gotta tell you, I think it is because, yeah, it's a sea bass, yeah, it's a beauty. Wow. Alright, he probably hooked okay. Oh. Wow. That's exactly what I came out here for. That's a monster. I mean, 
you just don't get any prettier than that, huh? You just don't. Yeah, if you want to catch big sea bass, learn how to catch them on bucktails and diamond jigs because if you put squid down here on a hook, you're going to waste an immense amount of time on very small sea bass. me off. And the New York state limits on this trip are six fish at 16 and a half uh, inches. 16 and a half inches of big sea bass. Yeah, and I'm bleeding those fish out in that bucket, and when they bleed out, then I'm putting them in the cooler where it's uh, iced. Okay, I can't use this camera angle as much on this trip because it's got a little bit of wave action. Uh, it's okay on this fish, but some other ones, it's uh, just rocking back and forth a little too much. And I'm not jigging there. Right now, I'm just pulling line off the reel, getting it to the bottom. So that rod that I'm using is one that came out earlier this year. It's the Dark Matter Skinner Jig and Bounce Spin, but it's the ML. Uh, weight range roughly like three-eighths to an ounce and a half. Since I'm using ounce and a half jigs, it's working fine for this. The one I started with was the medium version of that rod, uh, which is like one to five, one to six ounces. That You could use that in the ocean for fluke jigging. A lot of people like it for that. Um, but yeah, both rods completely appropriate for this and uh, oh, yeah, you, you can really uh, put the pressure on fish on, on both of these rods. Well, clearly this one's not a sea bass. I'm not going to be able to just have to get my jig back anyway. I'm not going to get it back that way.
All right, it's important when you do this kind of fishing, um, trying to fish over deep water, like 60 to 65 feet with these light jigs, that you have an alternative because what's happened now is this breeze is picked up. It's against the current. I'm scoping. I can't seem to stay down now uh, easily with the jig. So you know what? Got the um, the heavier rod and uh, an A47 jig, so a four ounce diamond jig on there with a teaser. Basically, it's my exactly my fluke setup that I use in the ocean, except I've got a diamond jig on there, and I'm going to make some drifts through the area. And basically, I'm waiting for this current to turn around, because once that current starts going with the breeze, I'm going to be okay. But um, for now, yeah, I'm going to just use this rod for a couple of drifts. I know I could use the trolling motor, but I've got a boat nearby, and he's trying to fish the same spot. If I go up there with the trolling motor and try to troll into the wind, I'm going to be in the way... I know I could do it. I don't think it's the right thing to do. Um, so anyway, mostly I'm waiting for this tide to get moving correct direction. Yeah, this could be 25 minutes later. I, I did get a couple of shorts. Uh, two nice things have happened. The wind dropped out. Great. And the current's just starting to go um, in this direction that I'm drifting. Uh, just starting to get outgoing current here. At this point, it's mostly a wind drift, so you still see that angle on the line. When I need to, I'm just going to flip the bales, let that bucktail go down. Um, still, you know, just an ounce and a half. So, uh, but it's going to improve as that current moves with the with that little breeze. It's going to get better. Right, right on the right on the big boulders there. That's a beauty. Oh man, look at that one. Anybody know what kind of jellyfish those are? Those aren't, um, hey, those are weird. Um, that's not man of wars, right? It's not, it's very strange. I don't, I don't see those kind. I got that other one and there it is same spot same spot right on the double hump I don't know if he's got the weight for a keeper this could be a short I don't know maybe good Not bad. Oh. You're actually, I think he's good. Oh yeah, he's just not bad at all. You know, I got like a you know 20 incher up in the cooler there, so that kind of throws me off. But I'm gonna give this guy a measure. Nope. That's a short. Now, when I get a fish, I run right back up current. I do not try and catch two fish on a drift. I am not a person who makes long drifts. 
long drifts rarely make any sense at all because the fish are rarely all over the place. They're in specific spots and you need to focus on them. And one of the biggest mistakes I see people make, and this is for all kinds of fishing, especially fluke, weak fish, they run too far up ahead of the spot and they drift too far back. Feels like a really nice sea bass. Oh boy, look at the size of this thing. Wow, that's the best one yet. Holy smokes. Sometimes if you miss one, you can get another one. Oh, oh, that's not the right thing. I'm lucky to lose him. Oh, I should have not done that. Well, at least he chased it, so maybe he just got the tail end of it. Yeah, but at least they're not like super thick and making it impossible to get through them. Oh, I got 50 liter on there this time. I know it's not great, but it's better than 30. Almost feels more like a striper than a blue, but I'm sure it's going to be a bluefish. Yeah, hopefully, the fact that he had to chase it is going to help me. Big blues. If any chance of getting that bucktail back, it's gonna be wow, holy crap, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, get my jig back anyway. Wow, that is a bluefish. Nope, oh, leader's frayed. Wow. 30 wouldn't have uh, survived that. Okay. 
Okay. See ya. What we got? Don't be a bluefish. That's not a bluefish. That's a nice sea bass. Ha ha. I think so anyway. Well, sea bass usually don't pull the boat, but no, that's a sea bass. Got him on the little bit lighter rod here. It's good because if this is number six, I can go do something else. I can go drag a tube along the beach or something like that. Tell you this, he's he should be good. That's hard fighter. Yeah, he'd be good. You know what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. Limit of big sea bass. And I was just setting up to go try trolling some tube and worm, and I look way down the beach. I could see the reflection of splashing. So now I am heading farther down the beach um, towards some fish breaking. Going to see what this is. Albies. These are Albies. That's Albies. All right, it's the first time I've seen Albies this year, but you know, I'm not rigged for them. I, I should have like a shiny lure on or something, but all I have is bucktails. Um, by the time I rig up, I, I don't see them again. But hey, it turned out to be a great trip, and uh, you know, I got what I went out there for big sea bass, a bunch of them. And uh, yeah, it's going to keep progressing from here. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses and my new message board at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. And don't forget my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf Boat and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.